So we just took one wheel in to get mounted, got some Podsport 4S to go on, and we're here at the one and only Tire Boss. So last look at the wheels before they get mounted. God damn, it's gonna look so good in the sun on the car mounted. There's actually so many colors in the flake. You see bronze, you see gold, even though the finish is like pressed graphite, there's so much character in these wheels. It's amazing. We're back home. This is the sickest weather. It's like 16, 17 degrees Celsius out here. And I just realized, yo, one car is gonna have these dope BBS wheels. These are one of my dream wheels. And the other car is gonna have these dope TEs. This is like major life accomplishment for me as far as uh, car mods go. Oh, and look at that. There you can see how aggressive the face concavity is. Let's get these on the car. where the rear end of this car looks so sick. So while I am taking off these uh, wheels on the driver's side, I am gonna also be removing um, that side skirt down there. And uh, I'll probably install the TRD side skirt while I'm at it. So this video will probably be like a little tune one. Man, it's kind of a sad day. Finally retiring uh, the white and polished uh, Aerons with uh, gold Muteki open-ended lug nuts. Um, I ran the setup for I think like two years and a bit and uh, I'll really miss these wheels but we're on to something better. And to go with the TEs I did pick up these uh, Project Kicks R40 two-piece lug nuts um, with the locking nuts as well. Um, so I'll unbox these for you guys, show you guys what they look like. These are actually really nice. This is my first set of nice lug nuts. Let's see how these things look and feel. look so nice and if I take one of these out these actually feel really light they're really nice feels like high quality um, and these are two piece so there's a washer on the bottom that faces the wheel so that when you are torquing these down this doesn't spin against the wheel and uh, you don't scratch up the, the face of your wheel these are so much lighter than the air Yo, those look so dirty. That gunmetal on the blue and the red of the spoke sticker matching with the Brembo. That looks so killer. It's all paying off, man. Man, look at those face four concave faces. These look so nice. All right, anyway, I'm gonna pull the wheel back off so I can uh, take off the side skirt and mount the TRD skirt and catch you guys up in a bit. Oh my god, there's so much dirt in this. Holy crap. Holy crap. I can't even show this, I gotta empty it. This is disgusting. Yo, these TRD V1 skirts look so nice, especially with the paint match. So I didn't record much because I don't have a lot of space here. Um, but just to show you guys, if you guys are installing these uh, replica V1 skirts, um, they're really easy to install. They come with hardware. Um, there's a little clip that goes behind here and attaches to the inside of your uh, fender wall area and a bolt goes in. Um, there are two more over here. And I took the actual skirt behind the fender liner because I will be changing this one out at some point because it is ripped up. 
and I, I thought this looked a little bit cleaner instead of having like the blue coming around. So clips go behind, you remove the black uh, push clips that are part of your fender liner, and then you put the clips in behind and put a screw. And then on the bottom, there's something like this, which uh, this screw goes to the bottom of the skirt. And then this part here attaches to the frame rail like that so that keeps it aligned that keeps it fully secure and then i also added some double-sided tape uh, all around so this thing is super solid and looks really really nice Not everyone gets to do this, so I'll share this moment with you guys. Oh, that's so nice. A moment of truth. thousand years later okay guys it's been a couple of days since I last left you guys um, with my car in the garage I'm just looking at the car right now fully completed and man it looks good so you guys ready for the reveal jeez oh my god what a huge difference that all this has made I can't believe how good the car looks right now and how different it looks like the arrow it made a big difference but the wheels made a huge difference it's so wild. I apologize for how dirty the car is. It's that season right now where like no matter what you do, you wash your car and you go anywhere for a video, it's just like disgusting and like everything just gets so dirty. But um, yeah, so we ended up finishing the side skirts on both sides and the wheels. Um, actually, my mom helped me put on the front lip. I didn't record this because um, it was kind of too tight. It's actually pretty funny because she saw me uh, struggling in the garage and she's like, do you want some help? So um, I asked her to hold up the corner and I placed it where it needed to be and um, she put some tension on it while I blasted in the screws into the bottom. So it looks pretty sick. Um, you guys can leave a comment down below, put some bets for how long this uh, gloss black front lip will last. I'm hoping it goes at least a year. If I get a year out of it, I'll be happy. But man, what a transformation. Like this has been my vision for the last few months of like how I want to do um, a stock body build and it has come out so sick like yo just look at that side profile like it looks so aggressive like yo that rally back reductible really sets off the whole car so you guys know this rear bumper lip is meant for quad tip exhaust um, I am probably gonna go get that done uh, in the spring since it's basically winter um, no point in keeping the car out unnecessarily, getting salt and snow on the car, so I'll do that next season most likely. Also, I got a question for you guys. Let me know what you think about um, having the roof spoiler, how it curves out, plus the duck bill. It's like two things on the back of the car that um, are kicking out. So I'm not sure if I like it. I'll keep it for now, but let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Really interested to see um, different opinions and perspectives on that. And man, I'm also just so happy with these wheels and the fitment and the finish and everything. Like, look how tight it is to the Brembo caliper or right here. Like, that is pretty wild. Pretty good fitment. Um, next spring, I probably will dial back the camber a little bit just so that it's a little more straight. Probably go minus two all around. Um, I'm at about minus two and a half in the front and three in the back, so I think it'll look a little bit better. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys appreciate the transformation on this car. This car has made huge progress this year. Like I said, this year was going to be a big year for the YouTube channel and the car. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys drop a like. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the car and the direction we're going in right now. And let me know what you think uh, you guys would do on the car for next spring. So hopefully see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys next time. Peace out.